Hi, Kerry Garrison with 888 VoIP Store. And in this video, we're going to show you how to install a Sangoma A101D PRI interface card with 3CX. Now, it's not just simple plug and play because there's some other components that all have to come together to get this to work right. But as intimidating as that might sound, it's actually fairly simple, as you'll see. The first step is to get our server up and running. So I've got a Rockbox 1U appliance. It's installed with Windows XP Pro, and I already have 3CX installed on it. So I've got the 3CX product configured, it's set up, I've got my extensions in it, but now I need to get my PRI interface card working. So the first thing I want to do before I pull the server off the rack is I'm going to install the NetBorder Express software. Now what that's going to do is it's going to install all the drivers that we need for the card to be detected. When you boot up the computer with the card in it, without the NetBorder Express software, it's going to try and detect the hardware and you're going to have to cancel through that. The easiest way is to simply install NetBorder Express first, shut the machine down, install the card, then bring the machine back up, it'll automatically detect the hardware and you're ready to configure. Now the first thing we need to do is get our card in. Like I said, we've already got Windows XP Pro on here. We've got 3CX installed, and I'm going to show you the steps for installing NetBorder Express and configuring it. Installing it's really simple. Just download the software and run the installer. So we're not going to actually demo that piece. So that's already installed on this box. I've shut it down. I'm going to put the card in. With this 1U server, we got to do a little more configuring to get it to work because obviously cards are designed for a 3U box. So with the 1U, we have a little side adapter that comes with the Rockbox appliance. And then an extender that goes onto the card here. And we simply plug everything in. Now that our hardware is installed, NetBorder Express is already installed. As soon as we boot the computer up, it's going to detect the card in there. And then we're ready to configure the gateway and then get 3CX to work. So let's put this computer back in the rack, and we'll start configuring NetBorder Express and 3CX. I'm going to make sure we select the A200, and I have two interfaces, meaning I have one module installed. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to say Next. Make sure I have my country selected properly. Go Next. Keep all the default settings for the SIP configuration. Click on Next. Confirm that I want to restart the gateway. And the gateway should come up properly. Next, we're going to need to log in to our 3CX portal. And we're going to go to our PSTN devices. We're going to add a gateway. Here, we're going to call this Sangoma. FXO, and this is going to be Sangoma, and this is going to be a four port FXO card. Next, and next again. There shouldn't be any issues with the device ports that it sets up. We should be able to leave those. And we're ready to create our outbound rules. And I'm just going to create one that says for seven or 10 digit phone numbers. I should make that 11. Seven or 11 digit phone numbers. We're not going to strip any digits or prepend anything. And we can just go ahead and hit finish. That's going to give us some information here. But what we really need to do is generate the config file. And we do that by clicking on the button there confirming our subnet mask, and now it's going to ask us to save the file. Now, we do not want to save it as the file name that it's trying to put in there. We want to call it something different so that this will work. Now, if you want to see where we're going to put it, we're going to go to C, Program Files, NetBorder, Express, Gateway, Config. We're going to take this out and we're going to put in inside of quotes, we're going to put routing 
dash rules dot XML. You have to get this right or it's not going to work properly. It should ask us to replace that file and we're going to say yes. Go back to our gateway manager. Stop the gateway. And then restart the gateway. When this comes up, we've got our card configured, we have 3CX configured, and we're ready to start making and receiving phone calls. There we have it. We've got a Sangoma A200 card configured with 3CX.